Good morning, December 6th. Why the Incarnation? The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. John chapter 1, verse 14. Our Heavenly Father yearned through the centuries and the rise and fall of civilizations to redeem His needy people. He never ceased to reach out to His prodigal family. He did this in every possible way through the glories of his creation, through the immeasurable gifts he gave them, through the words of prophets and teachers. He dispatched his servants with countless messages that said the same thing in 10,000 ways. Come home, come home. You are loved now and forever. In the end and at long last, in the fullness of time, God himself made the journey. He poured his Godhead into flesh and blood and visited the earth as a man. He walked among us, a king in disguise, the creator among his creatures. He entered our world through a doorway called Bethlehem, and our world was changed forever. That's something to celebrate. That's the reason we have a Merry Christmas. The Word became flesh and dwelled among us. He is your Emmanuel today, God with us, God with you. He is God incarnate, not man becoming God, but God coming into human flesh, coming into it from the outside. His life is the highest and the holiest, entering in at the lowliest door. Oswald Chambers Good evening. Make today wonderful. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 118, verse 24. Regardless of how bad things appear, God is greater than any situation you may find yourself in. You might doubt this truth, and as a result, your life will be filled with fear and insecurity, and each new day will be an almost unbearable burden. Every new day is a unique gift to you from God. What you make of it is your responsibility. The way in which you welcome each day will depend on your frame of mind and attitude toward life. Fortunately, your frame of mind is not something that you have to leave in the hands of fate. You can mold it into a creative, constructive power. You were never meant to be the prey of changing emotions and fluctuating circumstances. God has given you the ability to choose your frame of mind, as well as the pace of your life. Therefore, you can live a happy, victorious life. When you wake up in the morning, start the day on a positive note by praising God for His presence and His goodness. Then you will meet the day with joy and expectation.